Hello everybody and welcome back to Wildflowers, where today, it is Tuesday, what were we going to do today? Oh yes, more wood chopping. So I'll go and say hello to Meg and get my egg. And then we're going to chop all the wood. And I also ran out of magic, didn't I, last time? So we need to go and top up the wellspring a little bit as well. Okay, so. We actually did a lot of clearing around this sort of area last time as well, which was kind of cool. In advance of uh, getting the barn up and running, I guess that needs to be cleared out. Okay, so. morning kitten and I think I used up some wood on paper so I don't at the moment have ooh, bone and catfur I don't at the moment have quite enough wood so I think we need to just head over here and make sure that I do now oh, the flowers looking great now I imagine that the beehives are gonna be racing along now which is great, because I need lots of honey. I don't know if I got the right person for the afterlife. I refuse to look it up, though. Unless I really struggle. But I've got at least two people that I think it might be. My biggest, bestest guess is that it's Violet. Okay. Because Violet taught me how to do honey, and uh, she's asking for a honey-based drink. That is what I'm basing it on. But we shall see. So I don't need to do any watering on this side. But I'm keeping the flowers there. I got my first oranges today. Wonderful. So we are going to get some orange juice today. Nom. Ooh, I think we're going to have honey this episode. 100%. We'll have, that one's going to be finished at the end of today. And then the other two will probably be finished the day after. So that is wonderful. Just got to leave this alone now and try not to pick any of the flowers by accident. Right. Oh, well, that was silly, wasn't it? <laughs> empty. Watching an empty plot there. Lovely. Well done, me. And then again, I want to put some seeds into that empty plot, so that's fine. Tomatoes. Right, okay, so now I need to chop down a little bit of wood on the way. So we're gonna find me a little branch or something somewhere to, to nip away at, or a little sapling. No, it doesn't look like there is, so we'll just go with this then. I will have clear cut the whole thing. But what I could do with doing today is taking my speed boost because the time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Woo! Four days of speed boost is so worth the ingredients. But I've got to go all the way over to the wellspring as well. Hey, Juliet. I do want to keep talking to you. You're a cool little dude. I think you might be a witch too because you were born with a call. Hmm. People say that that means you're gonna have the second sight or something. At first, isn't it? I only bought lemonade from Emmy and Finn because I'm their babysitter, but it's actually good. Like, really good. Right then. Hey, hey! Can we upgrade the tool shed? Thanks. You'll have lots more space for your tools and such. Should only take a day or so. Nice. And then while we're, while we're waiting for the day or so for uh, Parker to upgrade the shed, we'll work on the spa. 
Well, I'm just wanting to... Oh, toadstools. That'll be useful for red dye, I think. I'll chuck something into the wellspring for my magic, and we'll be doing great. Okay, so once I have the wood together for the, the spa, then we're looking at 60 iron and 120 wood. Wow, my memory actually did not fail me on that one for once in my life. Um, so that could be interesting. That might take a little while, but uh, we'll we'll work on the easier things first and then work towards the harder things. That is my motto for this particular one. So let's chuck in... Uh, maybe some witch weed. Need to have a reasonable amount of that. Yeah, that topped up my magic beautifully. I missed a thing there. I missed a scavenger ball. Okay, and we could also scavenge down the beach because we can. Is Sophia open and like, does she have any good recipe books? I'm still look I'm still collecting recipe books at the moment, so is there anything I can sell to you? You will buy my apple juice. And my lemonade. And my chicken soup. But I will sell you my apple juice for now. And it looks like we've got uh, to sell more. To be able to do pizza and a few other things. Okay. Cool. She'll eventually sell beef wellington. Was that not... The favourite thing I just found... Hang on. Uh, no, 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 no. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, for... Westley. Oh no, it's roast beef. Okay. I wonder whether I can experiment a bit. Hey, Westley! So, were you born in Ravenwood Hollow? Not at all. I grew up in a tiny town in Alaska, and my parents are decidedly human. Ah. The story of how I ended up here is quite complicated. Does it involve being bitten by a werewolf called Fenrir Greyback? No? That's most of the Harry Potter werewolves, isn't it? Fenrir Greyback. Okay, so oh, let's... Oh, I can have a little chat to Angus on the way up. Why don't we scavenge the beach as well? Want to know a secret? Uh, do I ever? The number one mistake that beginning bakers make is fudging their measurements. Cooking is not. Baking is a science. A tablespoon of peppermint extract is super different from a teaspoon. And don't ever estimate a cup of sugar. You'll always oversweeten. Okay. Good to know. And then we'll head back to the farm and cut down all the wood that uh, is needed by Kim. I should chat to Kai and Francis and everyone, shouldn't I? Do you ever look at a seashell and think, this contains all the secrets of life? No. And before you laugh and say, that's totally Kai, well, Nautilus shells have a logarithmic spiral based on the Fibonacci sequence. I did know that too, but uh, I'm amazed that you do, See? Kai. I remember some cool stuff from school. Good job, Kai. Get some seaweed, which is good for speed potions. Some shells, which is good for grinding up into calcium powder. I'll chat to Marty, then we'll go to the other side of the bridge and pick up all the stuff there. 
because I'll get told off by the comment oh, section if I forget real nice that's weather, there. Huh? <laughs> you know, I should snap a pic and text it to Dad. You don't have to run off to the Bahamas just to get some sunshine. What? Uh, just, just talking to myself. I'm guessing his dad's really rich and runs off to the Bahamas for holidays. We're starting to get a bit of an idea about Marty. I don't know whether he's just a guy that's been brought up really rich and as such hasn't uh, sort of learned certain life skills and is just trying his best to prove to his father that he can do things. Or whether he is some nefarious spy come to do harm to Fairhaven. I don't know yet. We'll see. Hey, that new meteorologist is kind of cute, yeah? Oh, so Kai and Damon both have their eyes on that new meteorologist, huh? I don't think I'm her type, though. No, possibly not. That's okay, though. Alright, let's go chop some wood. So hopefully it'll keep track for me. Uh, I need 50 total. And I now have enough magic, hopefully, to get my pickup spell. But uh, I like to have that kicking in at the beginning of a day. Simply because I feel like it's a wait it only lasts for a certain amount of days. And it's a waste if I don't use it in the morning. On 30 out of 50. See, I'm wondering whether to do the pickaxe. Whether that will be less heavy on my stamina trying to then... You know, I might do that. I might do the tools first and then the barn because it might be less heavy on me trying to get everything done then. So let's see, how much wood have we got? 44. I need another 6. That'll be one more tree. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stamina to cut down one more tree, but we'll find out. I could. No, let's eat something, I think. I want to get this done, so... Well, this will be a lemonade task, I think. The strawberry shortcake. Wow, that does a lot. That's going to be amazing in the mines. Right, so I can take the construction supplies to Kim, but I think it might be a little bit late in the day for that, even with my super speed boost. So tomorrow we'll find the honey and we'll find the mint and we'll see if Violet is the person behind the mask. Hmm. Is it time for bed? And then I will save up for Lena. For her honey drink. She likes to make a honey drink as well, you see, with her. So I'm going to get one and I'm going to give it to Violet. And I'm going to get one and I'm going to give it to, to Lena. Which means I need to find a load more mint. So let's just first thing in the morning. Head up to the mountains. Take a mountain stroll. And see how much mint I can find. I found an almond. Some more mint. Oh no, 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 Tara, no. And there's another almond. Some more berries. I may as well grab everything around here, right? And more flowers. Swing up around here, see what I can find. Probably not a lot. More berries. Looking for a mint though. I've got enough for one though. Uh, if I can find more, that means I can do more faster. Bit of money never hurt. Here. 
snipe looks like that was possibly my one mint of the day over here this will be the hot springs so we've got to go and find Kim today and handed the wood for the hot springs oh no I didn't mean to do that I wanted to dig up the money, not like get rid of all the trees. Oh well. That wood is mine now, I suppose. I spent the stamina on it. I should have it. Yeah, one thing I'm into again today. So that does mean that I think if the honey is all done, then we can at least try one person with that cooler. Like I say, I have two candidates that I think it might end up being. One of them is Lena, one of them is... Violet. Violet we will try first. And we will just see how it goes. Oh look, he's working on my shed. Finally. Took long enough, didn't it? Uh, it would help if I actually made the cooler first, right? That would really help. Right then. Uh, it's made at the distillery. Honey mint cooler. One honey, two mint. Make Takes two days to make. Oh, okay. Well, we'll leave that for two days then. Hurrah! It really takes you checking this two days really indeed but it's still possible to be done by the end of the episode right so the next thing i want to do is go and find kim then i may talk to the acolyte again and listen very carefully and try and look carefully see if i can work out any clues I mean, to be honest, even if I could see skin colour from the neck, that would help me distinguish between Violet and Lena, I think. I just don't know, though. Ah, Kim, hello. Do you have the materials for the onsen yet? I do. Yep, here you go. Great, I'll get to work on it right away. Once it's done, I'm going to put a tip jar outside so everyone can contribute to its maintenance. Okay. And I think it's best if we all stick to one visit per day so that everyone can have a chance to enjoy the onsen. Yeah, depending on how many cubicles there are. If there's only a couple of cubicles, then yeah. Those are great ideas. I can't wait to try this onsen out. It will probably ha really help with um, increasing my stamina. So, is if the it's like any other so game. Good, I'll be... Sate in the back? Well, if it's dad jokes you're after, try Parker's workshop. But yes, the Satan is delicious. Here, try it. Thanks. Thanks. I got a okay. deal with Angus, and he'll be giving me vital wheat gluten from now on. Oh, nice. If you're ever cooking and you want to sub in Satan for meat, I'll sell you more. Noted. I hope Thomas likes the Satan too. I guess we'll see. Good job. Okay. Oh, Kim is nearly at two hearts. Wonderful. All right. You have a question for me. Ah, oh, there you are. I heard you might have a loom in your barn. I might. What do you need? The silk parachutes I packed for my radio songs got destroyed by a bunch of bloody moths. I've got plenty of helium for my balloons, but no way to get the hygrometer safely back to land. Hmm. I don't have silk production yet. I understood like half the words in that sentence. Can you make me some silk fabric? I met a merchant who said he sets up a stolen town with items from Off Island. Maybe he has some silk thread? Oh, you mean Kai? He might have that. Oh, so you'll help me. Oh, thank you so much. Give, uh, give any silk and she says Kai might have silk thread. All right. Well, Kai is shut today, sadly. Lena is not. 
Ah, uh, you sure have been keeping Parker busy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't mind. He loves restoring all the little details on old houses. If it was up to him, we'd go off island to hit up antique markets every weekend. Imagine taking Finn to those. That would be fun times. Right, I want some seeds. Maybe some more hop seeds. And maybe I'll go and make... The, the, that's one of the last things I haven't made right now is a fermentation barrel. Okay, was there anyone else I wanted to see or anything else I wanted to do? I'm pretty sure that was all of it. The shed is working. Waiting for cotton. Needing to work on silk. Honey mint cooler for the adept. I'm going to go and see the adept today though. And just see if I can work out any clues. Listen to the voice again. I just don't know. Right, let's plant these hops in. And then I'll water my crops for the day. And then I need to work out whether I want to go for upgraded tools or whether I want to go for the barn. I'm still... I do think they're the most sensible thing. Possibly slightly more boring, but more sensible. It's out of water. Uh, would be just to go for the tools first because, you know, don't get yourself 120 pieces of iron and then upgrade to the good pickaxe, right? It's 120 iron ore, sorry, I, I'm trying to say. Oh, that's annoying. I just bought, I just bought enough seeds to fill up the beds and the tomatoes are ready. Don't think I can make tomato juice though. All right. Ah, I don't know if I can go in my shed while it's being worked on. Oh, I can, okay, cool. My purple cloth is ready. And I wanna know about this little fermentation barrel here. So can I make it? If I had five pieces of wood and one iron ingot, I could. Okay. Five pieces of wood and one iron ingot coming up. Well, that'll have to be done tomorrow. So I think I've made the decision uh, to be the sensible person who grabs silver. So I believe that, that to upgrade my pickaxe, I need 10 pieces of silver. So that would be 20 of these silver ores, because it's I think it's two per bar. But I want all of these things done by the end of summer. So by the time summer is over, I'm sure we're going to have other things to do for the coven as well in the meantime. But by the time I turn that season, I want to have a barn. I want to have a few more animals as well, actually. I want to have a barn. I want to have silver tools. I want to have all the tools done. I want to have some fairly decent relationships with people if I can. But that's not as important. I want to try and get more of the presents... Uh, unlocked from the crystal ball. And then I'll feel like we're doing well at that point. I am getting a lot of copper ore here. And not a lot of silver. How much silver have I gotten? Three. This could take a while. However, the things I find... Oh, that's annoying. I okay. The things I find while I'm looking for the silver will probably be the things I sell in order to fund. <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow. In order to fund uh, my, my pickaxe, because it's going to take a thousand coins and I only have 177 right now. Mm, no. No, 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 no. We want to go to the to the coven and just have a 
Oh, I just want to have one more look at the deck. Because it takes two days to make that potion. If there's any way I can not get it... I can try not to get it wrong. Mm. Oh, these are all of my... Ah, cool. Right, so it was Angus bought all my honey so he could experiment with honey cakes, but I can't just not sell honey. Check your pantries for extras. Ah, right, so Lena doesn't didn't want that to make anything for herself. She wanted it for the honey cakes. Right, well, that makes... That kind of takes Lena off the list a bit, doesn't I'm it? I'm all out of... I, could eat some I wasn't trying to get that. I was trying to get this. Man... Go and have a chat to her, so... I'm not the newest witch in the coven anymore. Oh, no. Now you have to run errands for everyone. Yeah, it sounds like her, doesn't it? And I guess she kind of has... an iris. Sorry, a violet. Is that a violet on her mask? Maybe. Oh. That doesn't stop? Nope. It's in the fine print. Sorry. Right, so based on those things alone, I'm definitely leaning more towards Violet again. I could be very wrong. But she was certainly the one that taught me about honey. The other thing I want to see is if on Violet... Looking at her favourites. That looks like it could be fish sticks. That looks like it could be like a smoothie. Because we're guessing favourites and you can see the outline of their favourites. So let me see. Um, drinks. A honey, mint, honey lemon tea. I haven't made the honey mint cooler yet, have I? It's tall and it has a honey stick next to it. Oh! <laughs> Look who it is. That was maybe a bit of a cheat. It was actually a mirror. She's the only one that has an outline with like a tall glass. She's the only one who that's the favourite for. Righty ho then. Yeah, it's a mirror. I hadn't even guessed that. I, it didn't even occur to me that that was something she liked. But, yep, yeah, we worked it out from the shadows. Looking beyond. With our eyes. <laughs> I wonder if that's what that meant at all. But I just saved myself, I think, by doing that. Hmm. I saved myself Is it days. Time for bed? I saved, save, oh. saved myself days of torture and <laughs> trying to make another one of those. Upgrade the tool shed. Room for everything. Oh, it does look nice, huh? And we'll have to go and see if the, how, how the onsen is going as well, won't we? All right, so let's have a little look in here. Ooh, this looks fancy. Fancy schmancy. 
Do I have any iron ore at the moment? No. Okay. I'll grab a little bit so I can get the uh, the, uh, the brewing thing going. That is so much better. Right, so the corn is ready today. I'm going to need quite a few new seeds from Nina today. Luckily, it's uh, a Thursday and she's shut. <laughs> Uh, I should really just carry extra seeds, shouldn't I, you know? That'll just make it easier to water everything if it's all in one place. Play my little Tetris puzzle before we start. Flowers shouldn't be a problem now. And so what I'm hoping is that there'll be more honey to collect today. Oh, there's one still to, to water, which is this one. What well, lemons to pick up today. What? No one told me if you didn't harvest... Oh, I didn't... Har what? what? But how am I supposed to water it? It doesn't let you water the... I don't get that at all, because it's like, I didn't think it let you water them once they were grown, but you're supposed to need to keep growing them for the beehives. I'll remove those then. I'll go and uh, see if Violet can sell me another one. Because it wouldn't even let me... I'm quite upset by that. So I've got one more piece of honey to collect. The others are doing great, but this is that's really annoying because if I can't leave them, that means I just have to keep keep growing different. I'm gonna collect the marigolds then. Because I can't particularly just but i i don't know how long before they wilt a couple of days maybe that makes it extra annoying to get honey but oh well i'll make sure i always have lots of flowers growing but i'm not gonna risk them all wilting on me i'd rather sell them to violet was really disappointing but I guess I learned a lesson there let's go and see how the onsen is doing up here oh she's done it already hmm how long should I soak for do a short soak. I did just for funsies today. Oh, that's so cute! And it obviously restored my stamina there for the uh, trade off of a little bit of time. I'll keep grabbing the mint. Let's see if I've got enough stuff for a crystal ball potion as well. Uh, okay. I will now pet my cat. Oh, look at the head scratches. And I will then pet my chicken. Who's gone over there? Hello. Let's take a lot of time to look after you, doesn't it? It really does. The 
You're a good chicken. Right then, so into the mines today to try and... I think anyway. No, over to Violet's. Let's go and sell my flowers and get more flower seeds. And I need lots. Hey, Violet. That doesn't mean that Violet isn't one of the other ones. I still think Violet is a witch, but... Okay. Uh... Oh, then. Sunflowers sell for 20 each, which is why it's so utterly sad and horrifying. That's uh, ooh, 70 for honey. That's good. Flowers sell for a lot, don't they? Uh, we can have a chat to Vanessa. Maybe when school starts again, I'll do a unit on farm animal biology. And we can visit Marty's calves and chicks. He hasn't killed them all by then. Oh, but then I'll have to cover what happens to those calves and chicks. Oh, on second thought, we'll stick to the textbooks. The old rancher, the guy who left ages ago, was super chill. He let me adopt one of his goats. I named her Pedro. <laughs> On the weekends, I'd feed her and play with her and stuff. Marty doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who'd let the kids do that. No. <laughs> hmm. Are we back up to, like... I'm gonna go back in just in case. No. All right. Uh, looks like Violet. I think is ready for a cutscene, but I've got to do it at the right place and the right time. So, Honey Cooler is gonna take another couple of days to do. We've done all of the things with the wood that we need. So let's go and get more silver. I guess. Upgrading tools. Upgrading tools. And we're going to get the barn, so that'll probably take an episode or two to do the, the, the tools. And then an episode to get the barn done. Maybe two. <laughs> we're certainly getting plenty of iron, so if... For example, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't plant the flowers. Oh well. I never know whether, I think I should just not even worry too much about, oh, the gem sell for such a good price. Like I shouldn't even worry about the gems, but it's worth it's worth it when I do find them. I'm gonna be in here for a while trying to find silver. It's definitely not worth getting uh, coal at the moment. No, sorry, not coal, clay at the moment. I would definitely say that. No, 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 no. Hmm. 
Right, how are we doing for silver now? We have eight. And that's enough for four pieces. We need a total of ten. So I will just keep going. And like I say, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, using loads of food or anything like that. I'll just use the days to do it. That's absolutely fine. And tomorrow morning I'll replant all my flowers and we'll get the honey production back up and running. Oh, let's have a chat to you then. Let's have a chat to everybody. That carpenter fellow, Parker, told me that you're the one to thank for helping repair the bridge to reopen the mountain pass. Although the mayor I certainly am. seemed keen to take all the credit. I wonder if I'm allowed to use the, um, the onsen again or whether I'm only allowed to use it once a day. It may well say, hey, it's not fair. You've used it more than once today. Yeah, so I need to... Obviously, today was the first day it was here, but tomorrow what we could do is use up all our stamina, then go for a long soak, and then use all our stamina again. It's not too far from the mines, is it, you see? Okay, we've got some lemons to harvest. I am. All I could eat oh, some. You are really out of strength. Okay. Like really, really. Right, can I make crystal ball potion? Yes, I can. If I had a bit more paper, I could make a couple of them. So let's make one. Let's make a summon small things potion. Ah, okay. Do I have wood? Yes, I do. Let's go make a little piece of paper and do a summon small things. And then tomorrow I can make another speed boost potion because I think that's going to wear off tomorrow or the next day. And if I go and make that piece of iron tomorrow, I should be able to make my uh, fermenting barrel, which means I'll start to be able to sell beer to, uh, to Damon. Which will be fantastic. I think it might be early night time today. Should I go to bed? Yeah. It's a Thursday. I don't even think the bar's open on a Thursday. Thursdays and Sundays are like rubbish days. They're days when you just need to work around the farm and do things. So I've got my last day on my speed boost, but that's fine. It's raining, which is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to need six seeds from Lena. I've got all these flower seeds to plant, so let's get them in. slightly do while the flowers are still growing I think they do contribute a bit towards the honey but I think they contribute the most when they're open but I think that wilting mechanic is probably in there and the fact you can't water them anymore is probably in there so you don't just leave them to get honey you are supposed to actually properly farm them so you know that makes sense to me I guess There are sunflower seeds in here. And then the rest of the day I'm trying to get silver. Because we want this silver pick. Right, I'm going to go to my basement. I'm going to check on the progress on the honey mint cooler. Three hours and a half to go, so at around lunchtime that's going to be ready. Who else do we want to know a favour of? Hmm. Bruno's doing okay right now. Emmy and Finn are taking absolutely forever. 
Why don't we find a Lena? A Lena favorite. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. She likes pumpkin pie. I had some of that at one point. I'm very, very much enjoying being able to do this. Mm, go on, make another one. I'll find ever find out everyone's favourite stuff eventually. Right, to the mines. No, to the chicken. Who, if they have any sense, has gone in the barn. In the coop, even. Hey, Meg. Here is some food for you. And here is a pet for you because you're a good chicken. And Meg is on that last heart now. Wonderful. Thing is, could probably sell Meg and get myself like four other chickens. If I oh, wanted such to. A pretty girl. Or I can just get chickens and sell the eggs. But it looks like the probably the most um lucrative thing you get from having livestock is the ability to to buy and sell it because a 250 gold chick is now worth something like 800 odd if you sell to Kim. So ranching is quite lucrative, yes. <laughs> But I don't know if I want to sell my animals. Maybe I will just do things the hard way. Like I always do because I have a soft heart. And a gentle soul. <laughs> Alright, that's one iron bar already. So we're up to five now. Sorry, silver bar. Five silver bars and 645 gold. We're doing much better for that today. Yay, I'm so glad that had stone in it. Yay. Gem mining is a pain. But I imagine that once you finally do get enough stuff to make a necklace or something, it becomes quite lucrative. I will make that metal working bench. And I will make the fermenting barrel. I, I, I'm trying to do a lot of things at once here, but... I will make it eventually. So we're on 40. We need six more. And then I've got enough silver to upgrade. Five. Four. Will I have enough on this level? Who knows? I could. Well, what we're going to do now is head out of here. And apparently heading out will reset the level so I can come back in. Have all new stuff. But I'm going to go for a long soak and see how that does. Well, it's very, very rainy today, isn't it? Hmm. How long should I soak for? Long soak for 40 gold. That entirely gives you another stamina bar that's worth 40 gold. I'll be able to look for lucrative gems, all sorts, with that, mon with that money. Wow. Okay, let's go back into level 14 and see if it has uh, regenerated, which it has. So like I said before, for this particular one, uh, anything that I get that's silver will be put towards obviously the silver that's needed to make the pick. And anything that's not silver will be put towards the money needed to get the pick together. So 
That's the deal on that one. Eventually I will start making glass. But this means that I can do things in one day now that I would have taken two days before. That thing is amazing. I'm so happy. Got enough now. One more. One more silver piece needed. She says, picking up everything but one. Come on, give me a gem. Go on, you can do it. I am, however, super glad when I get coal because every time I get a piece of coal, it means I don't need to use a squid to make ink. That was an absolute nightmare. I still not found the 20... Oh, yeah, I have found the 20th one. Okay, cool. That's fine. So now we've done that, we'll just go looking for gems. With the remaining stamina that I have. There's one sapphire. Still locked tight. Sad times. I'll just get some more bars of stuff. Some more other ores while I still have a bit of stamina left. And then tomorrow we'll go and take those to Natalia. I could eat. Alright, we're done. I'd upgrade my pick. So having been able to get all the stuff together for my pick in one day. Obviously not the money, but there's a few things I could probably sell if I grab some, grab some bits in the morning. It is absolutely wonderful. That's so good. I'm super happy. Um, unfortunately, I'm a silly bean and I didn't get any more seeds from uh, Lena's place. And also it's now too late. I'm going to go to the bar, I think. It's too late to do much else. Definitely a bit of socialising will be cool. But as I'm learning recipes and starting to learn people's favourites, I might actually be able to find some stuff that lines up. Don't leave the bar! No matter how many times I dust off Angus's clothes, he always gets them covered in flour and breadcrumbs again. But I don't mind. I love fussing over him. And he loves to be fussed over. Well, that's a match made in heaven then, isn't it? Where did Angus go? I wonder if anyone notices how fast I Some run. Some days I freak out about following Francis to Fairhaven. Like, was it a bad life decision? But then there are days like today. I can leave the door open, listen to the rain, and wait for my dough to proof. And I'm like, ah, this is perfect. I would have thought it would be more perfect for you than someone like Francis. It's, it's odd. A guy from Scotland, he's used to the... Alright then. Hey, Kai! I was hoping you might have something that the new meteorologist needs. Oh, right! I met her! She's like really into tea. Uh-huh. Do you have any silk thread? Ah, I've got something better! Silk worms! Ew! Nah, they're dope! You just gotta feed them mulberry leaves every day and on day 10? Ta-da, my friend! <laughs> totally organic silk. But you gotta build these little buddies a box first. Then they'll be like, uh, totally chill. Okay, that's the final thing on the farm. The mul the, the, uh, the mulberry leaves, the silkworms that he sells but wouldn't sell to me yet. And then also the, uh, the silkworm boxes. So buy silkworms and a mulberry seedling from Kai to make your own silk thread. The silkworm box can now be... Oh, they go in my shed, do they? Okay. Constructed in your tool shed. Good job I increased that then. Hey, Marty. Whew. 
My cattle corral's been a little dusty because of the summer heat. And because of the rain, it's turned into a swamp. I could paddle a canoe across this thing. Where'd you go, Bruno? Huh, uh, Bruno's kind of slightly disappeared. Hey, I was going to chat to you, but you left the bar. Ah, I wish my da were still here to see the bathhouse you built. He told me stories about visiting the hot springs in Switzerland when he was a boy. Didn't know Switzerland had hot springs. Ooh, that's cool. Now I can pretend I'm summering in Lycabod. Aww. He's such a sweet old guy, Bruno. He really is. I feel so sad that Otto turned out the way he did. Oof, not a very good day for surfing, huh? Oh, contraire, my dude. As long as there's not too much lightning, it's fine to hit the water. You're gonna be wet anyway. I mean, you're already wet, <laughs> so what's a little rain? Yeah. You just gotta be careful afterwards. Uh, rain makes all the trash wash up on shore. All right, good friend Damon. I'm gonna be making Ooh, beer for you soon. That new onsen is just the thing for soothing my sore back. No one tells you that owning a bar is like 90% hauling bags of ice. No, no one does tell you that actually, to be fair. Recipes for mixologists. Whiskey, vodka, rum, pina colada, mints, juleps, and apple martinis. I feel like I need that. I'm spending money so much right now. I could sell apple cider, apple martini, beer, vodka, rum, whiskey, wine, mint julep, and pina colada. Many, many things. Okay. Nice. So I can, I can craft rum, vodka, and whiskey because I bought that book. Well, that's different. And those are at the distillery. Interesting. I'll have to work on that soon, won't we? Getting some alcohol sad. up and running. What's up, Parker? Yeah. Well, yesterday was the summer block party in my old neighborhood. Most years I go back to the city for it, but I have too many projects right now. Oh no, that's my fault. I had Emmy and Finn help me flip burgers and make punch, but it wasn't the same. Damon, have you got more to say? No, you don't. It's just that I can go to the bar and sell things and stuff, I guess. There's more to do, but not more to say. Um, yeah, it's nearly time for bed now. So tomorrow we need to get some seeds from Lena. If my speed boost wears off, which it might do, then I'll need to make another one because I am way too used to running fast now. <laughs> Is it time for bed? Yeah. Hopefully the rain will have made everything nice and wet so that I won't need to water in the morning as well, which would be fantastic. And if, and I think she is, Natalia is open, we can get the pick sorted out. I don't know, the only thing is I don't know how much wood is required for it. Probably more than three. Let's just quickly chop down a tree on the way. And then I need to start work on silkworm production and stuff like that. So I've got a lot of things that I'm needing to, to sort out. The game is clearly seeing that I'm going towards getting towards the barn. And it's like, well, she's going to run out of things to do now. So we're going to need to just like give her more. She can't just have the... She can't just have that. No, no, no. Oh, Natalia's not open yet. Uh. Right, so let's have a look at my materials and stuff while we're waiting. So we've got 20 copper ore, so I should, 40 copper ore, so I should be able to do 20 copper bars. I would, it would be ideal if I could keep my iron and sell things like my stone. Um, I don't think the barn requires stone, I think it's 120 wood. And it's a load of iron ore, isn't it? So I, I'm going to need something like 120 iron ore. So if I could, like, you know, have the first 20 of that, then I only need 100. That would be a that would make things a lot better towards getting the barn up and running. 
Um, with the onsen built, it's going to really help me with the barn. Um, definitely. So we'll just keep working towards that uh, while I'm getting the silver ore together. And I'll need some more silver ore then to work on a... We're still at 810. Oh my goodness. Time pauses when you're in the menus, doesn't it? But we'll we'll need some time to work on other stuff. I am slow again, so let's see about making a quick little ream of paper. I'm heading down into my basement. I hope it's only like 10 wood. I have a feeling it might be 20, but we'll see. My potion is done. My honey mint cooler is done. I've forgotten about that. We'll go give that to Amira. Let's find out what Emmy likes. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Chocolate milkshake. Oh, well, that's not really surprising, is it? So now I can make whiskey from wheat. I can make rum from sugar. I can make more honey mint cooler. I can make vodka from potatoes. Well then. I'm going to make some vodka. Sell it to Damon. Right. And we also need to get some stuff from Lena. And I need to go into the... Oh, no. I just came out of the basement. What am I doing? I need more paper and ink for some and small things. I'd rather have speed boost and summon small things the time for walking slow has passed lighten my feet and make me fast being fast is more important to me than summoning small things uh but if i am about to go into the mines for ages i might do a summon small things right so my first job is to go to natalia and ask her to make me 10 silver ingots. Then I want to make a silver pickaxe. But I don't have the money for that yet. So why don't we make as many as we can copper ingots. And then sell them all back. Right, 655. Hundred and ninety-five. I need to make 300 somewhere. So I've actually got fabric to sell to Kai. I don't know if Kai will be open today. Let's go and have a check. The chance he would be on a Saturday. And Lena is as well. So Kai? Right, I want to sell you a little bit of an uptick on the purple cloth. There is a big difference in dyed cloth. Cool. Right, so a silkworm, a mulberry ce ceiling will cost me 125. And a silkworm will cost me 100. I'll come and buy another one maybe later on, but uh, I can only buy one at the moment and still keep the thousand I need for my pickaxe upgrade, which I desperate to get have done by the end of today. Today was tool shed upgrade, onsen upgrade, and pickaxe upgrade. So we've done a fair bit. Like I always think, oh, what have we even done this episode? But that's going to be a fair bit. Right then, so the silver wood axe, we're going to still need 10 silver for that. We've got enough wood and we'll need another 1,000. So a little bit of mining, a little bit of uh, maybe maybe some more cloth dyeing would probably help hugely with all of that sort of thing. Um, also, Francis is open right now. And I probably have a couple of... Um, yeah, I've got a sapphire that I could sell keep the pearls. I don't get them very often. Is there anything on the board? I haven't checked the board in 
ages. Cameron wants some paper. Uh, Violet wants red cloth. That's probably actually 195. That's a little bit under, but I would get some violet points. I'm carrying too many bulletins, but that's the one I can actually do. Grr. So annoying. Paper shouldn't be too hard to do, though. Um, so then I need to find a mirror. Let's go and check if the, the, uh, clinic is open. No, I think it is you. I think it is you. Am I sure this is the Adept Witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Pretty sure. Um... Here you go, Dr. Syed. What is this? Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> with you, Tara June. Well done. I suppose the honey and mint might have been a bit of a giveaway. The others might present a bigger challenge. Talk to Doubt the coven it. members and see if any are willing to take this leap of faith. Okay, so we've worked out a mirror. We've also worked out that she likes honey mint coolers. Well, that's wonderful. Kim, how are you enjoying When the... I was a teenager, I hated summer because my mom made me shave my legs and wear summer dresses. Ew. Now I don't have to do either of those. It's not like anyone here cares. Wonderful. Right, so we've done... We've done the pickaxe upgrade. We've done the witch... Which witch? Um, and now I need to work on the mulberry stuff. I would say, and we're waiting for some cotton to be finished for a mirror. Oh yeah, I need to buy seeds. I'm gonna actually run back and do that because I keep forgetting. <laughs> There's so much that goes on when I'm in town. It's like. There's so much stuff here to do. Now zoom. Right. I should get some of that bargain lemonade as well. So how about mm, corn seeds maybe? Maybe a couple of sugar cane seeds. And I might have to come back here later when I've got a bit more money because I did. I just sat. Well, I don't have enough money even to get lemonade right now. But you know what? That's fine. We've got better ways of increasing our stamina, haven't we now? Yes. Okay. Do I now start on my axe? I think I should. Let's go get enough silver. Let's go into the. Mine to get enough silver for my axe. So let's have a chat to you this morning. Hello. It's nice. If I see an egg in the field, I know that I haven't um, done what I need to do with the chicken, which is wonderful. Well, we're going to work on getting more of you, aren't we? Yeah. I haven't been out to uh, Ravenwood Hollow, though, recently. Loads of stuff to pick up here. I'm thinking I should try and distill more of this. Like the olives, I'm at the moment, until I find someone that will either sell me olive oil or a recipe that requires it. I'm not going to worry too much. I will pick the sunflowers. And grow some more. The bees do seem to be, like, hovering around, though. It, yeah, they're, they're not doing anything right now. It's a bit sad, really. Right, I'm going to move my flower bits <laughs> around a bit more. I know, I'm a nightmare for this, but... It just means that I can 
Make things tidier. I'm gonna need to plant my mulberry tree, Issy. Somewhere. So I'm gonna actually put that there. And then I'll do two corn and a sugar cane. No, actually we'll do three corn and two sugar cane. It's actually the perfect amount. lovely stuff all done so now i can spend the rest of the day trying to get as much silver as humanly possible and stroke the cat on the way past oh what a good purr what a good purr purr, purr. so what we want is 20 silver i need to do way more fishing than i do um 20 silver so I can upgrade my axe. And then once everything is all upgraded, then I'll be like basically needing to progress the story until I can get the gold layer unlocked. So we need to get past that uh, super secret door, which has probably got something to do with that little imp. What's their name again? What's my name again? Your name is... Zephyr. So I think Zephyr... I may well have closed the door. So we'll we'll uh, pay a visit, I think, to Zephyr. I totally need money, so any gems I can get would be ideal. Uh, I should dye things before I go to bed as well, though. Uh, did I make any iron? I don't think I did. It's Sunday tomorrow, though, as well. So it's not even like I'm going to be able to really go to... We'll have to sort that out on Monday, it's fine. Monday we'll get a distilling vat and I'll start working on all the hops. I'll just keep them until, you know, there's no big rush on it. I'll just keep them until I'm ready. I'm thinking I might need a couple of like distilleries in my basement though. It will actually be the moonshine basement <laughs> that I thought grandma had. Well, we found a couple of silver pieces. Nothing, not too shabby. I'll definitely have um, enough probably by the end of the first day of next episode. Actually, we're on seven already. That's perfect. I need to get to 20. If there's another big rock on my farm, I do need to grab that and try and get the recipe. Uh, I've gotten a couple of recipes from uh, Message in Bottles in the fishing spots as well. Uh, so I don't know if there's any more of those to be had. There might be. No, don't waste your last piece of stamina on clay. Wish I'd never gotten that shovel. Oh no, hang on, I did keep my... I know, I needed two iron ingots. Yeah, I didn't have money to like waste really on that. Um, so I need another 12 pieces of silver tomorrow. In fact... We're only at uh, an hour 15, so I could do another day. And then we can start on Monday next episode. But yeah, so now we've done our mulberry tree. Uh, let me go and see what it's going to mean to... Also, let's move some of this stuff back to the wall. Give me a bit of extra space there. All right, let's see. Um, so I'm wanting to make a silkworm box. That's going to cost me 200, one silkworm, and eight pieces of wood. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Tanning station. 
You can create leather from hides or mushrooms. You can make a mushroom hide? Okay, wow. I've only got three more things to, to learn how to make in here. But I thought that the silkworm box would be the final thing for here. But there is still one final thing to... Uh, so there are still some mysteries to unlock here. Definitely. Oh, you know what I should have done and I didn't do? I didn't go to the coven and ask the next witch. <sighs> okay, we'll definitely do that at the end of tomorrow. Time for bed. I don't have time tonight. <sighs> I'll see if we need to do any watering in the morning. Hopefully we won't. Oh, Amira's cotton is done. Nice, nice, nice. So I need to hand that in before I try and make more cotton. And then I want to start putting more of the cloth through the dye bath just so that I can get that extra bit of money from it. I just very quickly pop in and do that. So dye bath. Um, we've got plenty of red dye, so I will, and I've got some blue dye as well. But I don't have any like purple or orange. Okay, we'll just keep going with the the standard dyes rather than the mixed ones. Yeah, it's water everything. Oh, the well, oh the mulberry tree doesn't need watering. I could have watered once there. Ah. And then I've got loads of flowers down the bottom that probably need a good water. I'll top the can up before I go, though. It should do the whole patch. It's uh, it's not a, an unforgiving game in that regard. Beehives are stupidly annoyingly in the way, though. I'm actually going to move them closer, like maybe over towards the trees or something. But they are like ridiculously in the way. I can't water anything. Like, I can't see to water it. middle one here and then this one down here okay watering done animals next hey Armeg oh I don't think you need a present no you don't need a present not you you just need my love and care and food and some food in uh, every day, don't you? Yeah. Love and affection, that's all you need. Cat, you might need a present, I don't know. And some milk. I don't know if that would give you a really big boost. I think I found her favourite. That doesn't surprise me at all. I found one of the cat's favourite foods. There's also some of the fish. Oh, that gave me a massive increase. Wow. Hi, kitty. I won't need to give many milks, will I? That was a good use of it, I think. Right, so everything is watered. The animals are dealt with. Um, Amira needs her cotton. I've got loads of mini quests to do as well. Maybe I should do some of that to get money together. Before I have to before I go for the silver. Maybe I could do this I could do the mining for silver in the night a bit more, couldn't I? <laughs> Golly gosh, do I need a lot of wood right now? I'm gonna have to wait for trees to grow. Literally, I'm gonna have to wait for trees to grow so that I can make the barn at this rate. 
actually I'm not because I can cut wood in the in the woods and also in the mountains so I don't need to cut wood just on my farm it's nice to have the farm a bit clearer though isn't it I should actually just get like as much wood as I can. Finally. Because if I get all of if I use all of my stamina cutting wood, then I can use a whole thing of stamina. I can do a long soak and then get a whole thing of stamina back and then use that in the mines. And see if I can get the rest of the silver that I need. So five pieces of paper should be easily doable from that. And that's also some of my wood that I need for the barn, plus all of the wood that I need for my axe upgrade. My red dye is my red cloth is done. Let's do another red cloth because it's one of my quests is to do red cloth and then also I need five pieces of paper for Cameron and then once I can hand that in I can take the egg quest and get some money from that one as well. So it's gonna be all quite useful. Um it is a Sunday. We've missed the service, but he should be down at the centre still, or possibly on his way back from there. Nope, still in there, actually. Oh. Natalia, we really appreciate all the time you've spent volunteering here at the Consciousness Centre. Okay. But the real work now is to go into the community and try to bring more folks in. A little proselytizing, lovely. Oh, I've been doing that, messenger. See, um, my friend, ah, Tara, she's here. Came okay, because she talks about you. Oh, Natalia has told me so much about the new messenger. She hardly talks about anything else. <laughs> well, I just meant it's such a great community here, is all. If you'll excuse me, I need to go prepare my next session. Can I tell you a secret? I'm trying to impress Messenger Cameron because <laughs> I have a bit of a crush on him. Of course, I doubt I'm alone in that. No, I really don't have a crush on him. Oh, Natalia. I worry for you. Yeah, have your stupid paper. I feel like in a way, I manifested the positive energy that led to you bringing this to me today. You wrote it on the board. Thanks for picking up the frequency, Tara. I found it on the board. Um, you're welcome. Okay, 46. That's not too bad. Let's uh, go and pick up the egg quest next. And Amira's over there and she needs cotton. So, hello. Do you have the cotton yet? Yes, here you go. Thank you so much. I can let the kids have their bikes and skateboards back now. <laughs> did you confiscate them? Wait, you actually did confiscate them? They listened to you? People always do what I tell them to do. Is that strange? <laughs> anyway, here's something for your efforts. Thanks. Witchcraft, I think. That's some money for me. Lovely. Right then, so let's go... What are we doing now? Uh, oh yeah, board for chicken eggs. Because what I'm trying to do is do enough quests to get money together. And I've got 12 eggs for Sophia, lovely. And also shiitake mushrooms for Amira. Okay, let's hand in the eggs and then we'll do the mushroom quest because I've got so many of those and no one's ever wanted them before. Sophia, I got your eggs. Jeez. We've heard that one before. It's so, so hot fair. that everyone is ordering milkshakes 
I take pride in making them the old-fashioned way with hand-scooped ice cream. Mm. But, ow, my right bicep is really sore. <laughs> Giacomo used to say I could beat him at arm wrestling in the summer. Hey. So I think the upgraded silver axe will be the very first thing I do next episode. I don't think I'll manage it before the end of this episode. However, the mining should start to get easier because I've now got this upgraded pickaxe. I should hopefully be able to get through a bit more. Um, oh no, I need to pick up the mushroom quest. Good job I got my speedy boots on, huh? Speedy boots. I don't know where Amira was off to. Maybe back to the clinic uh, or the bar. Not the bar. Might have to find her later, actually. See if I can quickly find her, but she's probably shutting up for the night. Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to head over to the woods. We managed to get together 500 coins, which is half of what I need for the axe upgrade. Then when we've got all the upgraded tools, then the barn will be the final... The final little thing to do. I will put something in the wellspring. I have done a little bit of magic. It does need a little pop up. Maybe one of those flowers that I've got on the way in would, would be nice for it. Right, so. We'll chat to Amira. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions though. I'm a killer. Of course the doctor's amazing at potions. Is there anybody else that wants me to? Oh, hello. So this is the journeyman, I think? Yes. I had a chat with REO about what the fairy folk actually want for offerings. These days, even they have modern taste. That sounds like a man. Hey, new witch. Is it my turn to unmask? This thing is getting pretty itchy. Sounds to me a little bit like Damon, but let's see. Hey, you know, if you want to just take it off, I won't tell anyone. Nice try, but you gotta work for it. I need you to brew me a bottle of something so good, it'll make you float right off the ground. Or in bottles of stuff, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Damon it's then. It's a levitation potion. Hmm, oh, a levitation potion. So witches do fly. Yeah, but we need the right juice to do it. Don't go drinking it just yet. It's for your broom. You can't be serious. Witches don't actually fly out Finally the broom. Of course we do. But not like regular brooms. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> yes, that would be ridiculous. Here's the recipe. You'll need to use your distillery as well as your cauldron Ooh. to get it just right. Complicated. Okay, make a levitation potion as part of your quest to unlock the journeyman's identity. So we know um, those two. Your grandmother never approved uh, of the masks outside of rituals. She wasn't really the shrinking violet type. And I suspect you're not either, are you? No. So we don't know you. You're good at potions. I'm sure she's been stood on the, the other side. They probably move positions all the time though, don't they? Um, but anyway, I'm glad I worked it out. The levitation potion now. Maybe they'll drop a clue. How's the levitation potion coming along? I need a hint. Ah, you really are a rule breaker, aren't you? I like that. Rule breaker. Someone who likes rule breakers. Finn is a massive rule breaker and Parker quite likes him, so that could possibly be Parker.
I've got some guesses, but I will try and double check it. If they ask for like a favorite thing, I'll try and double check that as well. Wow, we got some cool stuff to do. I might get a broom. I'll stop having to do these, hopefully, I'll stop having to do these stupid running around potions all the time. Not that they're stupid because they're amazing, but also I don't like having to brew them every four days, particularly. Let's have a look. What do we need to do? Let's go in the basement and have a quick look and see. Right, it said that we need the cauldron for a levitation potion. Oh, okay, I just need to make some essence of copper. Cool. Easy. Except my vodka is... Are you kidding me? It's going to take three more days? I need another distillery. I need some more copper and I need another distillery. I, I can't just leave that going for three days before I can progress. Yeah, I'll just make another one. It's cool. It's fine. Yeah, it won't be a problem. But I think there we are going to uh, end the episode. Should I go to bed? Let's go to bed. <sighs> I'm very, very happy at being able to use a levitation potion. I'm very, very happy at having gotten through the part of the quest that needed the honey, because that took ages. Um, I am very, very happy with basically everything that's going on. I'm very, very happy that next episode we will be very, very close to having um, the money together, I think. To, I think, especially if I can get the, the, the dyed cloth done, we'll have like another 300. And then if I can get those mushrooms to Amira, we'll probably have a bit more. So we'll probably be very, very close to being finished with that. And then I just need to go and get the rest of the silver for it. And their upgraded axe. And then we can start getting the materials together for the barn. So that's going to be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.